All right, Switch 2 fans, we've got another major development in the underground hacking world. Hacker and hardware genius David Buchanan just did something absolutely wild. He took the Switch 2's brain chip, scanned it, fixed it and got it to boot. No, this isn't clickbait. And yes, it might just be the start of something really big. So what actually happened? David Buchanan, the same guy behind tons of high-level Nintendo exploits, uploaded a BGA scan of the Switch 2's SOC. That's the main chip that runs the whole console. It's like the heart and brain of the device. He labeled every one of those tiny solder bolts. You're looking at memory lanes, power lines, clock signals, data pins, the whole nervous system of the chip. This is an insane level of detail. You don't get this from Nintendo, you get it from hardcore electrical, engineering and a lot of effort. Literally, legendary work. Why does this matter? Because if you want to understand how the Switch 2 boots, how it protects itself and where the vulnerabilities might be, this is where you start. This BGA scan is like a map of the console's deepest secrets. It's kinda like in Zelda Breath of the Wild before you take on one of the divine beasts, you have to unlock the map. That way you can see the whole structure, figure out how it works and where to go next. And that's exactly what David did here. He unlocked the map, now people can start exploring the system. It allows for custom test rigs, external powering, even chip swaps. This is reverse engineering at the foundational level. And here's the wild part, he didn't just scan it, he actually rebolt the chip, put it back on the board and it booted. Not fully, it didn't load the OS or run games, but it reached the same power on state it had before the chip was removed. That's an insane win in hardware hacking. Reballing isn't easy and seeing the board respawn at all means the restoration worked. So is the switch to jail broken? No, not yet. But this brings us closer. Think of this like getting the keys to a locked car even if the engine doesn't start yet. With this info other hackers can start testing the boot sequence, power traces and maybe find ways to hijack the boot process. This kind of low-level work is what made the original Switch jailbreak possible. It starts with scanning chips, then poking them and eventually exploiting them. If someone finds a mistake in the hardware, this groundwork is what lets them turn it into a full jailbreak. So no, you can't run emulators on your Nintendo Switch 2 just yet. But with Buchanan's work out in the open, that future just got closer. And the best part, this is real, no fakes, no rumors. Just raw hardware hacking happening in real time and we are gonna follow every step of it. Hit that subscribe button for updates as they happen. I also follow every week's progress in the Switch to hacking scene. With all of that being said, my name is you, don't forget to smile, I hope I'll see you in the next video. Peace!